Good morning. Today is Friday, November 12th, and we're going to Kennedy Space Center today. Um, I got some free tickets for being a veteran, and today's the only day I can go. So we're going to make the best of it, even though the weather is a little bit not so nice, a little bit cloudy. See you soon. In 1.2 miles, turn left on Arrive at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Arrive. Portion of your cell phone video, and you splice them together. Um, I don't know if I would say Ten splice, dollars. but I put them together. That's an old... I'm now waiting for the bus to come pick us up, take us to the Saturn V Center. And that is a vertical assembly building. We used to assemble the rockets. Uh, supposedly that's one of the biggest buildings by volume in the world. And we'll bring it back to the the Center 5 rocket that we're going to see used to sit right outside that building before they built the new uh, Saturn V Center. And that building right there uh, is a shuttle building, and you'll see the you'll see where the tail of the shuttle fit into that building. And those are the crawlers that would transport the rocket from the vertical assembly building to the launch pad. There's two of them. And we are getting close to the Saturn V Center. And there's the building where the rocket's inside. It's one of three of the Saturn Vs that weren't used at the end of the Apollo program. There's one here at Kennedy Space Center. There's one in Huntsville, Alabama. And there's one at Houston, Texas. This is the original equipment they used during the Apollo program for launching. It is one of those rare moments when history is not being missed. Destiny is being embraced. And here is the Saturn V rocket on its side. These are the massive F1 engines of the first stage. This is a command module and service module from the Apollo program that was unused.
This is the large first stage. And they removed the rings between all the stages. So you can see the fuel tanks and the engines for each stage. This is the second stage we're seeing now with five smaller engines. This is the third stage with a single engine. The lunar module would be in that shroud between the service module and the third stage. We also met many challenges in science. If you'd like to know more about that, please operate the panel in front of you and And at the top of the rocket is the uh, capsule or the command module and the service module. This is a command module of the Apollo 14 mission. This is outside of the building. It's a memorial to the Apollo 11 astronauts. And again, the vertical assembly building and those shuttle buildings this as we head back to the main visitor center. Forward the advance of the human spirit. Because we are the pioneers, the star sailors, the thinkers. One of the three remaining space shuttles during the shuttle program, the Atlantis is inside that building behind me.
This is the Rocket Garden. And that's a Titan II with a Gemini on top. And that's an engine from the Saturn V rocket. And there's one of the newer rockets they use. They're still using at the Cape. United Launch Alliance. And that's a Saturn 1B rocket. That is much smaller than the big Saturn V that we saw in that building. Some of the older rockets in the Rocket Garden. And that's the first stage of the Saturn 1B. You can see the engines are much, much smaller than the Saturn V. And that's the Atlas. Rocket. Well, thank you for joining me in this video of the Kennedy Space Center. Bye now.